Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Queenie and of course I have Abby here with me. She will likely only stay for part of the video. So for today we are going to come into a quick flow focused mostly on our hips designed to help you feel a little better after long hours in a chair. So we're gonna get started right away. All you will need is your mat. It's so coming first into a child's pose. Feel free to have your knees as wide as you like or as close together as it's comfortable. Big toes are touching. Arms will start to reach forward as you let your forehead melt down. And breathing here, allow your hips to push back. Breathing to the sides of your ribs and to your low back. Taking a deep breath in through the nose. And open your mouth, sigh it out. Uh, then from here, you're going to keep your hands reaching forward. And then you're lifting the head up. As you bend your elbows, don't let your elbows bend out, but hug them in. Let your elbows bend downwards, but don't touch the mat with them. Slide forward, bring your hips down. Lift your chest, draw your shoulders back, coming into a cobra, not relying just on the hands, so using your back muscles. And when you exhale, lift from your lower belly, get a, your core to be strong here, and then sending your hips back towards your heels. So just like that, we'll inhale, lift the head, elbows hover above the mat as you slowly come forward, bringing your thighs down, lifting your heart forward, pressing your toenails into the mat. And when you exhale, lift your hips and then allow your hips to melt back towards your heels. So two more like that, breathe in, stay low to the mat, elbows hug in, sweep your chest forward. Breathe out, send your hips back, moving to your child's pose. One more time like this, inhale, come forward. Deep breath, exhale, send the hips back. And then from here, we'll move into a downward facing dog. So lift the hips, tuck your toes, send the hips up. Feet are about hip width apart, hands are shoulder width. When you inhale, I want you to check the distance between hands and feet by coming into a plank position. Make sure that your stance is not too short. Good, and then we will come back to downward facing dog. Now from down dog, I want you to lift your heels so you're on your tippy toes, then bend your knees and bring your knees close to the mat but without touching the mat. So it almost looks like you're coming back to child's pose. So keep your bum low, knees hovering above the mat. Then when you inhale, straighten the legs slowly as you come forward to plank. So strong legs, arms are active, core is working. Exhale, bend your knees. So just like that, inhale, straighten the legs, come to plank. Exhale, bend your knees like you're winding back, about to spring forward. Again, breathe in. Breathe out, deep breaths. Two more, inhale, straighten the legs, squeeze your quads, your thighs. Exhale, bend your knees. One more time, breathe in. Exhale, bend your knees. This time when you inhale, come to your plank. Pause here, separate your shoulder blades, stay. So just staying in your plank pose, feeling your uh, shoulders, your legs, your core. If you need, you can bring your knees down. If the wrists are not too, super happy here, bring your elbows down, you can come into a dolphin plank instead. But if you're okay here in plank, first option, you're gonna stay. Second option, you can bring your knees down if you like, and then either staying in plank or when you exhale, you move into a chaturanga. Move back up to plank when you inhale, and then again, exhale. Good, so we're just trying to wake up the body, maybe doing just three more breaths here, whether you add the chaturangas or not, that's up to you. One more breath, pushing back up, and then we'll all meet in downward facing dog. So you're down dog, pedal at the heels, turn your head, sway the hips, take a deep breath in here, open your mouth, sigh it out. We'll sweep the right leg up as we breathe in and exhale, bring your right foot forward between the hands. Bend your right knee, you're gonna bring the hands to the hips. Okay. Shoulders relax, leaning forward, start to pick up the back foot, float it up for a moment. And then as lightly as you can, bring your left toes back onto the mat, bring your left knee down, arms will reach up. Maybe you need to widen the stance a little more, allow your hips to melt. Reach your arms up, lift your heart up, ground from your hips, stretch tall, breathe in. Exhale, bring the hands behind you. Interlace the hands or hold opposite elbows. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, breathe in. 
And as you exhale, lean forward, pick up the back knee. And once again, keeping the hands behind you if you can, otherwise you're welcome to release the hands. We'll lean forward, drag your left foot, pick it up for a moment. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Try not to let your arms rest on your back body. Lift your right hip up, start to feel the right leg. Build a little more heat here. Now releasing your hands, slowly stand up, lift your left knee up with you. Arms will reach up towards the ceiling, breathe in. Exhale, reverse. So coming back, arms reach back, left leg extends back. Good, two more like this. I want you to inhale, move slowly, lift your left knee, lift your arms up. Exhale. Sending the left leg back. Feel free to keep your standing leg bent. You don't need to lock it out. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. Uh, this time, inhale, lift up again. And exhale, release your left leg. Shake it up. So hopefully the right leg is a little warmer. Now from here, you'll bring the hands to the hips. Your left foot will stay, you're gonna lift the right knee. So the leg that we were just on, you're going to work that leg, uh, you're gonna stretch that leg open. So right knee is lifted, flex the ankle, bring your right ankle on top of your left thigh. Hands can stay on the hips or they can come to prayer. It's very simple here. Keep pressing your left thigh away from your body. When you exhale, sit back like you're trying to sit into a chair and then slowly stand back up. Just like that, four more, exhale, sit back, push your right thigh downwards, keep your ankle flexed, and try to keep your left toes a little lighter. Come back up, so you're not leaning forward too much with your knee, again, sit back. So if your knees stay over your ankle, go ahead, come back up, two more, breathe out, push your hips back, press your right thigh down, coming back up, one more time. Press into your hands, Good. lift back up. Release your right leg, shake it out. Good. Your right foot stays on the mat, palms come to prayer, lift your left knee, push your left foot all the way back. Bring your hands down, bring your left foot to the back of the mat. Good, walk your hands to the left side of your mat. So I'm just gonna turn so you can see. Turn your toes outwards, bend your left knee as you straighten your right leg. And then inhale, lift your hips, bend your right knee, straighten your left leg as you breathe out. Good. Inhale, lift your hips slow. Exhale, bend the left, straighten the right. Notice I'm trying to keep both heels firmly grounded. Switching one more time. Try not to rush, try not to just sink right to the bottom. Good. You're gonna slowly come back up. Uh, walk your hands back to the top of your mat, step your right foot back, and then go to downward facing dog. From your down dog, feel free to just, to just stay there. Otherwise, you're welcome to flow through your vinyasa. And I want you to breathe. From here, the left leg will lift up. Bring your left foot forward right between the hands. Fine. And then bring your hands to the hips. So leaning forward, glide the right foot, pick it up for a moment. Feel free to keep your left leg bent. Do not need to straighten the leg all the way. And then as lightly as you can, send that right foot all the way to the back of the mat again. Sweep your arms up, breathe in. Exhale, lower your right knee down gently. I widen the stance if you need. Let your hips melt, reach your arms up, lift your heart up. Allow your hips to gently push forward. So stretching out the front of the right hip, right thigh, the lower belly. Then bring the hands down. Again, hold opposite elbows or interlace the hands. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. From here, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, lean forward. Grounding into your left foot, drag your right foot, lift the right leg up again. Remember, you can always release the hands earlier if you need to. But then from here, we will release the hands and very slowly stand up, lift your right knee, reach your arms up, breathe in. And as you exhale, slow to transition back to warrior three, Virabhadrasana C. Again, you're welcome to bend the standing leg and in fact, try not to lock the knee. Breathe in, lift up. Breathe out, push the foot back, reach your arms back, strong core and back muscles. One more time, breathe in. 
and then breathe out, send the leg back. Inhale, coming all the way up. Exhale, release the leg, release your arms, shake it out, turn the head. So you're grounding into your right foot this time. Hands on the hips, lifting your left knee up. Flex the ankle, bring your ankle on top of your right thigh. Good, so always pressing the thigh away from your body. Palms come to prayer. Take an inhale. Remember, as you exhale, sit back. So keeping your right toes a little lighter, palms press into each other, left thigh pushes down. Inhale, slowly stand up. Good, again, exhale. I find it easier if you're looking at one point rather than looking around or looking at the screen. Breathe in, slowly lift. Three more like this, exhale. Inhale. Two more. Once again, notice how heavy your right toes are. You're really gripping into the toes, standing up slow. Let's try to keep it a little lighter one more time. Breathe. I lift back up. Lift your left knee. Release your left foot. Release your arms. Shake it out. Good. Left foot will stay. Hands to the hips. Right knee lifts up. Push your right foot all the way back. Bring your right toes down. Walk your hands onto the mat, to the right side of your mat. Turn your toes out again. And then this time we'll bend the right knee. Straighten your left leg. Inhale, lift your hips. Exhale, switch. Again, breathe in, lift up. Exhale, bend. One more, inhale. Bend your left leg, exhale. Coming back up when you inhale. Good. And then from here, you be pushing into your palms. You can walk your feet back, bring your knees down and start to sit down. You can hop your feet together, bring your knees down and then sit. Bring the soles of your feet together. Good. So from here, grabbing your feet, pull them in a little bit more, trying to lift your chest up. Shoulders are relaxed. If as you pull the heels in, you cannot sit straight, let your feet come a little further forward. Good. Shoulders are drawn down. And then I want you to reach your arms up. So do your best to try to lift your chest. Good. Breathe. Flex your toes. From here, can you try to lift your right foot off the mat? Maybe just a little bit. Maybe it doesn't even actually move, but just the intention of trying to lift it up. Go bring it down. Lift your left foot up. Bring it down. If this is too difficult, you can bring the hands behind you on fingertips, draw your shoulders back. We're gonna lift the right foot up again. Good, bring it down, lift the left foot. Bring it down, good. Keep the hands there, you can keep the arms lifted. It's totally up to you. We're good, we're gonna to try to lift the right foot and just try to straighten it over to the right side. Good, lift it back up, bend the knee, bring it back where it started. Same thing, we're gonna lift the left foot, send it over, good, lift it up, bend it back. Try again, maybe hands can come down the second round, lift the right foot, extend it out. Maybe you don't let it tap the mat, just keep it lifted, bring it back. Good, lift the left foot, send it out, bring it back. Good, shoulders pull back, lift the chest, arms reach up, breathe in. Exhale, reach your arms forward. Pull yourself back up, release your arms. Good, this time we're gonna try with hands down first, shoulders pull back. We will lift the right foot, straighten it forward and then open it out to the side. You're gonna tap the mat, lift it back up, bring it forward, bend the knee, place it back down. Same thing on the left side. Lift the left foot, extend it forward. Go try to open it out. Maybe let it tap the mat for a moment, lift it back up, bring it forward, bend the knee, and place it back. All right, we're gonna do one more on each side. Hands can stay, or you can try to reach your arms up, lift the right foot, extend it forward, open it up as far as it can go. Don't touch the mat if you can, bring it back, bend the knee, place it down. Good, left side lift, extend, bring it out, pull it back in, bend the knee, and place it down. Good, now can you lean back, use the hands if you need, lift both your feet up, extend it forward, open it up, Place it down lightly, good. Hands can come to the mat. You might notice our hip can, uh, <laughs> can seize up a little bit sometimes. All right, arms will lift up. Draw the navel in. 
Let's get a side bend here, reaching over to the left side. Don't worry about where your foot is in place. Try to extend the leg, reach your arms, extend the side body. Then when you inhale, you're just gonna come back up and then extend it to the right side. Pull back up, extend forward, pull back up and release. Guys, lean slightly to your right. Start to bend your left knee. Good. You may need the help of your hands. Press into the foot, try to lift the hip up, and then slowly sit back down. This might not be super smooth. We're gonna do two more. Maybe use the help of your hands. Just trying to lift the hips. Maybe walk the hands forward, walk the hands back, lower the hips. One more time, lift. And gently come down. Don't drop your body. Straighten the left. Gotta bend your right knee. Same thing, just lifting three times. Use the help of your hands if you need. Try to ground into your heels, lift the hips, gently lower. If the, the right heel doesn't come down, lift the hips up. If it doesn't come down, it just means your ankle and calves need a little bit more of a stretch. Lower back down. As always, use the help of the hands if you need. Lift up and lower. Good, straighten out your right leg. Arms behind you. If you can, try to interlace the hands, lift your chest up. Breathe in. Breathe out, lean forward. Doesn't matter how far you go. And then pull yourself back up. Good, lean back, bend both your knees, place your feet down on the mat, windshield wiper of the knees to the right and to the left. So moving side to side. And then you allow your knees to drop over to the right side. Keeping it there so you can bring your heel, your right heel forward a little bit so that your shin is parallel to the edge of your mat. Your knee is about 90 degrees. Got your arms will reach up, breathing in. Exhale, try to lean forward and pull yourself back up. Just one more time, you're gonna lean forward. And this time, place your hands down. Stay here. If you like, you can extend your right leg back, coming into more like a pigeon shape. You can also keep the leg there, but maybe walk your hands further away to the right side. So adding a twist in this variation. Let's pick what works for you. And don't worry if your forearms don't come down onto the mat. You can stay on the palms. Try to keep your right ankle flexed. So whatever variation that you have chosen here, you're here for two more breaths. One more breath. So coming back to this starting shape here, lift yourself back up, lift both your knees, and allow your knees to turn to the left side. So same thing here, have your left ankle move forward a little bit, having your shin parallel to the side of your mat. Good, you can extend your right leg back if you like, or uh, actually stay here first. We're gonna reach the arms up, breathe in. Exhale, come forward, and then lift back up. And then from here, reaching forward, you can bring your hands down. Then from here, you can extend your right leg back. Stay where you are or twisting further over to the left side. Breathe and just feel the hips here. Again, as always, you should not be feeling any sensation in your knees when you're getting, uh, when you're trying to stretch out your hips. So if you you're, do feel any pressure, especially in your left knee here, perhaps bring your heel a little closer or adjust where your torso is. We're here for two more breaths. One more breath. Coming back, so back to that starting position. Both knees are bent. Uh, and turn both knees up. Pressing into the heels, lift your hips up. Use the help of the hands if you need. Walk the hands forward and separate the feet a little wider. Walk your hands back to the top of your mat to your left foot, send your left foot back. Shake it out, stay in your down dog or vinyasa. Breathe. Take an inhale. Sigh it up. Right, coming back to the spirit, the, one of the first movements we did, lift the heels, bend the knees. Inhale, straighten the legs, come to plank. 
exhale, bend the knees. So just feeling the hips and the body here. Extending when you breathe in, exhale when you bend the knees. Stay there, or again, you can practice hopping. You can lift the hips up and land lightly. Use the wall if you need. This is one of the best ways I find to help me kind of re-energize in the middle of the day rather than reaching for a snack or something sugary or a coffee, doing a few hops. And then you can bring your knees down, come into a child's pose when you're ready. If you need a, new, a few more hops, feel free to pause the video. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Sigh it out. And then from here, that is it for our coffee break. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate, reach out to us. Thank you again for joining me. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy.